Hi, I'm Jack, and this is my friend Ann, and we're evangelism trainers with the Georgia Cumberland Conference. Today, we're talking about how to get a sit-down Bible study. There are three basic ways to study the Bible with people. There's a sit-down Bible study where we sit down in their home or in a neutral location, open the Bible together. There's a drop-off Bible study where we're delivering a lesson week after week, having a conversation on the front porch and asking questions about the lesson. They're also just sending lessons through the mail to them. Today, we're really going to focus in on how to get that sit-down Bible study. I recommend that you prioritize sit-down studies over drop-off or mail. We can be tempted to think that it would be easier to get them started with the drop-off or mail study, and then as their interest grows, to offer a sit-down study. But it's actually much harder to convert a mail or drop-off study to a sit-down study than it is just to ask up front for that sit-down study. So ask. It's the best opportunity to develop relationship, and relationship is everything. The only way I know to get a Bible study is to ask. We have not because we ask not. Not everyone is going to say yes. If you ask 10 people about Bible studies, you'll probably get two or maybe three appointments for sit-down studies. The rest will be drop-off or mail. But you won't get those appointments for the sit-down studies if you don't ask. So make it your practice to ask. Don't try to evaluate in advance if you think they're going to say yes or no. Just ask. Don't be afraid to ask. We want to watch out for the Baskin-Robbins effect. Now that's the too many choices. Which one should I take? So what would you say to help with this, Anne? Well, I'd probably say something like this. The way it works, Mr. Doe, is that we would come by once a week and go over the next lesson with you. And if you have questions, we can discuss those. Probably take about 45 minutes. Would this time next week be a bad time? Next Monday at 6 o'clock, if that's when you're there. Since they're at home then, there's a good chance that it's a good time. And if it's not a good time, you can always ask, when could we get together? Now, if this is not a good time, then another way is to give them choices. You could say, I would love to sit down with friends, open these lessons together, and review them. I have Tuesday and Thursday next week. Which day would work better for you? Now, once they've chosen a day, you want to give them two times. I have 3 p.m., I have 7 p.m., which time works better for you? Now, these are times that you and your partner have already worked out together, so you know they work for Bible studies for you. And before you leave, you want to confirm with them why, why you are meeting and when you'll be back. So I will see you next Thursday at 7 p.m. to review the lesson together. You can always offer drop-off or mail studies if they can't do a sit-down study. Thank you for joining us today. I encourage you to watch the other sessions on following up a lead. See you next time.